Well, Southampton at the time was, and it probably still is, I would imagine, the, one of the best universities for engineering. And also I was, I liked ships in the sea and I was quite keen at the time to be a yacht designer. I was always interested in the design of things and the look of things. And my father was an actor and he was saying, now what are you going to do? And I said, well, what about film design? He said, it sounds quite fun as you couldn't really be Brunel anymore. Those days had gone with this entrepreneurial engineer. And so I thought, well, doing that sort of design, you've got a chance to do the things that they would have done. And it's, you know, not only has the engineering been very useful, but also it's been great fun to do. I think engineering is a wonderful general degree. I mean, it's like people do law. They don't become lawyers necessarily. So why should an engineer become an engineer? But you do know an awful lot about how things are done, how to get things done, how just generally about life. What I do as a production designer in sort of film and television, you're in charge of designing and getting built all the sets and finding all the props you need to make a film. And that can involve very little or a huge amount. I mean, on one film I had to build an entire railway in a shed. You're bringing in engines on low loaders and sometimes you're building a kitchen table. I mean, it just varies, you know. The fans are rather extraordinary, but I mean, I have to say it wasn't for them, there wouldn't be Doctor Who probably, but they seem to come from all over the world to these conferences and these sort of sessions that, that, were, that I had. Where you are around here, the new forest and driving around was great fun. I used to have a vintage Rolls Royce chassis I, used, I brought down and we used to drive that around, which was quite fun. And um, also sailing. I was the of the University Sailing Club and I had a sheer water catamaran which I kept down on the Hamble. And then various friends here, their parents had yachts, so it was all very convenient as well. And I remember actually listening to the World Cup final in 1966 in a yacht off Cowes. And we couldn't go about because it was near the end, but we were heading for a sandbank, but luckily it finished in time. Well, learn what you learn here very well because in, a, in an art department, I'd far sooner have people who've done lots of different things because then somebody will know something about everything. And it's, it's you, you know, making films, there's nothing particular, it's your own innate ability in the end that will help you'll be a good filmmaker or not. But if you don't know anything, you won't be able to transmit anything.